Well, this is a pretty noisy area, but check out this creek. This is a really unique looking creek. Like this section of it has all these lily pads. I guess they're lily pads. I'm not sure what those are exactly called. But like, it's only, I feel like it's only this like one section through here. I don't think it happens downstream. It's uh, it's like 10, 40, it's gonna get really hot. This stream stays pretty cold in town here. And uh, I'm hoping there's gonna be uh, some bass in here, but uh, also some multi-species stuff. I got just the perfect lures I think gonna be for today. Uh, I was sent this pack and these hemostats by someone named Scott. Thank you, Scott, for sending those to me. And uh, I get sent stuff every once in a while, and a lot of it doesn't get in videos. But And I've had this for at least a couple months. And a lot of these hooks have single hooks. 1 16th ounce rooster tails, single hooks. And I think these are going to be the perfect lure to use in here today. There's a lot of weeds and stuff, so we're just going to... And it's not very deep, but these little pockets hold fish. So let me get one of these tied on, and we'll get casting. Start out with a little white silver one, a little single hook on it. One sixteenth ounce. I do have a little swivel on there with a snap. Don't think it's gonna mess me up any. It gives me a little more weight to cast. This is a pretty light lure. Oh yeah, I'll be able to cast out a mile. All right, let's uh, we'll start walking up here. Get away from the road a little bit, but I think there's fish uh, as soon as we get going. Bunch of little stuff chased it first cast. Oh, I was think sails. Oh, we got hit. And boom, I saw that guy come and get it. Okay, it only took me two casts to get my first fish. <laughs> you know what? I am liking the single hook thing already. Hey, it didn't even hook it in the mouth. It hooked him outside the mouth. That's the only thing I was worried about with single stuff. Maybe I'm missing some loot, some fish. We got a red breast right off the bat. That's a pretty one too. Oh, holy cow. Next cast. I got slammed it. Let me check my drag. A little large mouth. He came and shot across there. Last time I was here, I don't I don't know if it was last summer or two summers ago, but I remember seeing some decent sized largemouth, and I remember I remember seeing a lot of different fish. That's a little one, but we are two fish in, and I think in three casts. Nothing right there. Oh. There's so many little fish, I'm getting follows. Ooh, right there, little guy. This kind of stuff I always find interesting. Like, I'm almost up to my knees, which is about a foot and a half of water. That's a lot of water. But looking at it, when I when I walked over the bridge and looked down, if you just look in there, it you, you would think, oh, it's about six inches deep. This is plenty enough water to hold a two or three pound bass, tons of sunfish, just lots of life like sometimes that's why I, I like I really like to get in these streams to really see what they are because looking at them from a little ways off you just never can tell for sure how good it is oh <laughs> I had a little largemouth come out and hit it oh I had another follow I had a couple follow there they are there, there's a couple largemouth right there I wonder if they're gonna hit this thing Oh, they're looking at it. I don't know if they're gonna hit it. All right, we go. <laughs> look how look how far that fish followed me up. He hit it like two or three times with nipping it. I was kind of letting him. I was trying to let him eat it. There's a bluegill, third species. I've had two or three little hits that I haven't landed, but we're just gonna keep on walking up here. It's a long kind of open stretch and just trying to cast everywhere. 
this box says a trout pack but we all know that panfish love it too let's go to a different color we went from the white let's go like just solid black Looks like a white and silver. Let's go to this black, black. Get it, get it, get it. I had a little bass bite at it. He's right in front of me. I think it's the one I hit earlier. There we go. Oh my goodness, he missed it again. He's right there still. Will he hit it for like the... No, he won't hit it that time. That must have felt the little hooks on it that time. There we go. There's another bass. That's a different one. He ate it. I saw him kind of actually just come out and just eat the thing. Yeah, that's our best fish today. Yeah, we'll take that. Fish on. Where's this one? Little red breast. <laughs> what do we got here? I still feel like there's something we're just not getting. Let's try this one with some red in it. And maybe just the area you're going through. Sometimes they're lazy in a certain area. You get somewhere else and they get real more aggressive. It, yeah, there was a fish right there though. Should have been a bass through here. Maybe at, right up here though. Oh, fish on. It has been a weird little stretch here. There was like a barrier at the bridge. There was so much bait fish and bass and sunfish up above the bridge. And I, I caught a few. And, but it was just like there was, it was just everywhere. It was like so much. I thought, I, would, I, thought I was just going to catch a ton. I get down past this little barrier. It was like a little kind of just on a ledge. And I go 50 yards without seeing a fish. It's like totally different on this side of it. Then finally I caught one here. So I'm starting to see a few more fish. That is uh, kind of a, just odd, like division about the creek. Maybe why they were so hard to catch up there. There's so much stuff up there for them to eat. Well, we've gone a little ways down the creek, but we're getting to a bigger it's getting um wider and deeper as we're getting lower in this creek so i'm gonna go oh and i've seen more sunfish so i'm gonna go back to the rooster tail this is the uh pretty common color i think it's called rainbow oh yep and we got a fish on first cast kind of how we started out the day and then it went really slow i don't know if it's like i mean i think it's just a section of water the red breast but I've had, um, I was using a little crawl and I've had some hits from some sunfish that seem to be a little bit more aggressive. So I've seen a couple bass, I haven't seen much. The water is just different than the uh, last time I was here, I can't remember. Oh, and another fish. Yeah, they're chasing that down now. They're down here to eat. There's not near as many bait fish, like I don't see the bait fish just squir uh, swimming everywhere like the upper section. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, a bunch of these guys. Oh, eat it. Got it, finally. I watched this guy nip at it a few times and he ate it right in front of me. Well, we went like one fish in the last 20 minutes, then I got three fish in the last two minutes. Yeah, 
stay hooked. That's what we've been looking for, something like that, just to come out of the, come out of nowhere and show up. Oh man, he's got small hooks on them. Probably pulled a little too hard. That was about 12 inch largemouth. Good largemouth for like here. I've been walking for a while with really, I mean, I'll catch a, I've been catching a red breast here and there, but not a lot of, not a lot of action. There we go. Stay on there. Got a little guy. Another red breast. Oh wow. I think that log jam is still here. I thought that log jam had cleared off. I remember there being a big one. I, thought, I think I got around it last time. We'll have to get down here and take a look. Well, that was easy enough. I just follow a little uh, trail where you can see the water when it when it floods. It kind of diverts around this big stoppage and clears a, a path for me. Now my rooster tail is, there we go. Now let's get back into it. And right below this little log jam, we'd think there'd be some fish. Got that one. Oh, he hit hard. There was two or three of them right there. Oh, okay, okay, go back in. Oh, right in front of me. Yeah, there's, little, there's a, bunch of, a bunch of them sitting right here. That's a pretty one. A lot of red breasts in here. I got a couple bluegill and I had a, I've seen I think I might have caught one long ear and then large mouth. Ow, ow, he finned me. Um, I think there's spotted bass that live in here, but I haven't seen any, and I don't think there's any small mouth. I mean, there could be, this, this is, a lot of these streams, like the possibilities of a lot of fish are in there, but it's like, they're all kind of different. Which one, what's the most dominant fish to um, like, you might come across a fish Oh, come on. Eat it. And that guy got it. I watched him follow it up. There's a lot of them. Like, as soon as I got below that little jam, there's a bunch of hungry fish in here. Well, this one seemed to do done the best. Maybe that's why you see it so many, so many places, this color. Let's try something else. All right, this one has a treble hook, but it's called a Vibric rooster tail. So it's a little bit different design, I guess, in spinner. Let's try that. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a bunch of sunfish in here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, come back, come back. Look at, there's so many of them down there, got him. There was like five or six of them down there. I just dropped it down in. They were nipping at it. I swear I still might need those. No, didn't need them yet, the little uh, hemostats. Man, there's a lot, all of a sudden there's just a lot of sunfish. Oh, and I feel like I'm sinking in here. I'm getting a lot of hits. But the bottom is changing. It's, uh, I think they're probably because we're close to the end of this creek and it's probably losing some of its steam. And it's not as rocky as it was upstream. It's a little, it's got some like hard clay, I think. Some sand, a lot more just, you know, rotted debris mud and sand that flows downstreams. 
Dude, there's a bunch of sunfish. There should be a bass somewhere around here. There's a lot of sunfish. Oh. Another nice red breast. Man, they're hammering this thing. There's a whole lot more wheeling tire. I've seen a lot of tires today. I've seen a bunch of tires today, but that one's a whole wheel and tire. It looked like a that hadn't gotten away from somebody. That looked good. Hmm. Oh, I'm about to catch a fish right here. And got it. Hey! Oh, wait, wait. I thought there was something else. That is a spotted sunfish. First one of those today. Interesting. Okay, yeah, they are in these streams down here. The ones that are, like, coming this way. I've caught them. I've caught them on this side of, uh, let's see here. There's, like, a certain side of the river. On the other side of the river, I don't know if I've ever caught one. That's funny. Oh, now, is that a bass? Feels pretty good. I think we got a bass here. Hold on there, don't come off. We may have him hooked on the treble hooks. Not a big one, but he's a creek bass and they're pretty strong. Yup, a little large mouth. Chubby little dude. Now, yeah, see, he got hooked on top. Probably wouldn't have got hooked by that other uh, single hook one. Hmm. I thought I would have granted more of these. But every every time I go down the stream, it's different. Like, these things flood out, wash out. I remember at one time I saw a giant bass in here. Um, like, one, the first time I ever fished it. But that guy, I mean, there, there easily could have been a bigger one right there with that. Or maybe there's one I hadn't seen yet. Oh, next cast, same spot, another fish. Didn't even hit the water. There's a shiner. We've had a lot of little hits from these. I haven't caught one yet. Shiner. Oh. Oh, how'd he get hooked? Uh, he bit the top part and got him hooked underneath. Well, we're getting a lot of sunfish now. It's getting pretty uh this is kind of where i expected i actually had a little started out strong kind of went slow for a while now we've been on a little stretch here we're just getting them left and right Ooh, what is that oh just another red breast Oh, oh, and there we go. Yep, they're hitting good now. They're really thumping this thing. Well, I guess we got, um, do I have another one? I gotta let this guy go. Let's see if we have another color we haven't used yet. We didn't catch a fish. Oh, oh we have a brown one. I think I caught a fish on everything else. Water's pretty clear, so, and it's got a gold blade, so it should have no trouble seeing it. Oh, I got that one. Red breast. Oh. I okay, came up and smoked it. Ah, that's a little bass for you. What's crazy is I thought I was to the end of the creek where um, like there's no more divides. So we got past, we were on the log jam right there. And then, there you go. 
there's like uh, another divide here. So, I mean, fish can get through this kind of stuff if they want to, but they don't use, they're not usually just going back and forth. So I thought it was gonna be like all deep from there and then it kind of gets shallow again. So what do I know? Nothing. Although this over here is a deep looking spot. There may be something bigger in there. Oh yeah, there it is right there. I see him. And, oh, I missed him. I'm gonna do one more thing. Well, we went through all the rooster tails. So I can't tell if that's a fish over there. So the only thing I haven't done is landed like a decent bass. And I would say one thing we have learned or at least I feel like I've learned. Color didn't matter so much, but where'd it go? The, the treble hook definitely landed more fish, I think, from this one experience right here. I feel like from the amount of hits, it just hooked more. Obviously, it's got a treble on there, and um, the single hook's a lot easier to remove, but like this is kind of like a trout kit, but sometimes it's, uh, it's obviously easier to use for about anything. Let's try something here. Let's just go with a, I don't know if I'll be able to set the hook that well. I think I can, but we're gonna go with like crawl, poppy, and you know, basically just a, my little like small bass setup. I'm gonna hook this guy weedless. And uh, we got a couple of holes to go. I'm about to go back upstream here pretty soon. But this little hole here, I, saw, I know there's a couple of bass in there, I think. Let's just kind of go like bass fish the rest of this little place and just to see if we can pull something out. I'm using six pound mono. I believe I have six pound mono and uh, it's a light action rod. It's a loose six, four light action and it's great for, it's a great multi-species style. Oh, I see it. There's a little bass out there. I see he just rose to the top. What is this reel? The reel is a Johnny Morris reel. Pretty sure that's a bass. Let's see if he's hungry. Is that him? Might have been something else. Oh, I got him. No, nope, that was him. Yep. These little, little bigger fish just, they miss that rooster tail because they're so, like, they're getting it. Yeah, that's a nice little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it was worth switching to that, I think. Maybe I could have got him with the rooster tail if I kept casting, but if I wanted, if I missed him again, I feel like he would never bit again. All right. Let's see if I can give me a couple more out of here. Good thing this water is cool because it's hot out here today. Oh, oh, I got a fish on. Didn't know I had him. He's around that log right there. Get here. Get over here. It's a nice little bass. Yeah. I don't know how much further I can go. It's getting a little harder to walk. That's a good little bass right there. It's getting harder to walk because the ground's getting softer and softer. I'm like sinking more and more every time I step. Is that the best one today? Not bad. All right, I think I'm at my stopping point. The creek keeps going and it kind of stays about this deep where there's probably, probably, I mean, I would imagine the fishing's good and probably some bass through there, something bit that. But um, the hole is starting to really get hard to walk around. I'm just like sinking. You see all this uh, just stuff that gets washed down the creek. And I'm um, sinking more and more as I walk. And I don't want to get stabbed by something, but also it's just taking a lot longer to get around. 
I'm wondering if I, can, if I can kayak. I think there's a place where I can kayak and maybe come up to this point. I'm gonna have to try that. I, I have, I've been wanting to try it. I haven't tried it yet. There's a section of kayak that you can kayak that the, this creek runs into that creek. Um, makes me want to do it now because I want to come up in here, this creek, if I can, to um, see if there's bass at like the mouth of it because this is probably like some nice cooler water flowing into a little bit bigger creek. And the bass love coming up into that cooler water in the summer, especially. But bad part is now. And that's the hard part is turning back. So it's time to stop and walk back the way we came. Now I fished, starting to start out at a bridge. The only access that I can, uh, that I know of that I can get to that creek. Went upstream a little bit. And then obviously I had to wade downstream. There's no, there's no way to come down the creek other than wading downstream. Why are these dogs barking so much? And um, so I have you, if you can, you know, fishing upstream is usually the best but i fish down just going downstream all the time caught a whole bunch of fish today um you know it did it did fine um so i mean if you if that's all you can do then then there's then do it you know so anyhow like i said i gotta get out of here it's uh 1 30 so almost three hours of the creek bunch of little fish on the rooster tails if I would have fished it for bass, I may have caught, I mean, I definitely would have caught more bass, I think, but I wouldn't caught as near as many fish. So those little rooster tails, the single hook things, I'm gonna have to decide now. So they, they landed a lot. It was easy to get the hook out, but I feel like I lost more than when I used that treble hook, the one with the treble hook. But um, sometimes when they get that, sometimes when they get that treble hook in them, it's really hard to get it out. So the single hook's definitely a lot easier to get out. But all right, thanks so much for watching. Um, it's a hot day, but I've been in the shade and in the water. So it really helped out. It was, you know, really high uh, 90s today, but it doesn't feel that bad staying in here, but it is getting a little warm. So I'm ready to get out of here. Thanks for watching.